What's up guys, thanks for tuning into my video today. In this video, we'll be talking about my own blog, Checking In With The Cardiac Cues. It's a blog dedicated strictly to Syracuse basketball, including both the men's and women's Division I program at Syracuse University. In this video, we'll be giving advice to other students who are looking to get into blogging. We'll be talking about the why, why students want to do this, what, what students can blog about, how is there's a variety of sites that students can use as a platform to write their blog on. We'll also be talking about some issues that can arise with blogging, including technology, writer's block, etc. And we'll all be doing this uh, while showing my blog, checking with the cardiac cues as a footprint. So thanks for tuning in. Students can blog about whatever topic they desire, as long as it is appropriate, of course. I recommend choosing a personal passion, such as a fellow hobby or interest, as the topics other students blogged about in my class range from music, traveling, to even gambling. However, my blog is all about Syracuse basketball, as I'm a big fan of the program and an avid basketball enthusiast. Blogging is an excellent way to share your interests in a fun and creative way. In addition, blogging also challenges the individual to improve on their reading and writing skills, while also experiencing trial and error with different softwares and blogging platforms. The software I used to create my blog was through a website called WordPress. I found WordPress fun and easy to use, while its interface was not overwhelming and I could navigate the customization of my blog without any issues and considered myself proficient in WordPress relatively quickly. WordPress offered a variety of additional resources, including professional looking templates to style my blog, and in addition, ways to link my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram if I desired. So in conclusion guys, having a successful blog is all trial and error. I know I had experienced a lot of ups and downs to get where I felt my blog looked good to share with the class. I was open for constructive criticism, which is something that I recommend that all students trying to blog should do. Listen to your families and your friends, uh, you know, get your blog out there, take some comments about how you can improve your blog. You know, if you're having issues with technology or issues creating content, reach out to friends and family. That's what they're there for. They want to support you and see, you know, this passion of yours come true. Lastly, I can't stress this enough. Share your blog. Blogs are not meant to be by, not meant to be read by your eyes only. Um, show the world your creativity, your writing style, and allow yourself to connect with others who share the same passions as you. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.